All right, guys. I'm gonna do another dirty cup flip with the uh, deco art colors. Um, I have citron green. I have buttermilk. I have ocean blue, and I have purple pizzazz. And so I have paint left over from the last one. These colors work really pretty together. So if you ever get a pour that you're not too happy about or you just aren't loving, you could do a sand silhouette like I have a video in my playlist or you can just sew over like I did with this hexagonal one because I wasn't too happy with the colors and I didn't like the way it looked so I just put a layer of gesso over it and now I'm gonna just pour over that so we're gonna do another dirty cup flip I don't need quite as big of a cup <laughs> and try And I like this buttermilk color instead of white. So don't be afraid to use gray or buttermilk or different colors that are not traditional. Because they do look good too. Ooh, looking good. Be a little bit more purple. <laughs> Okay, it's a very full cup. And I made this frame myself. Um, I'll have a link in the description for Go Frame where I just got the frame and I bought some blank canvas to make it. And if you want a hexagonal one, you can buy them too, but already pre done. But I made this one so. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you can really stretch the cells out just by pouring paint off. I like it. <laughs> I like the striations and the webbing of the purple. Do a little bit more torching. These are just fun, funky colors. That looks super cool. <laughs> and I know I've had a few comments where people are like freaking out about all the extra paint, but don't worry, every ounce of paint gets used up. So we make paint skins. So on this video, I'm just going to show, again, <laughs> how I use um, the paint. This is why I put the plastic down to use up this paint to make paint skins. So you can use make them for jewelry or more paintings under resin or mixed media. There's lots of possibilities you can use um, the paint skins for. So, But this one turned out really cool. I like these funky colors. <laughs> and I move that one to the side. And we're going to play with some paint skin. So I'm just going to take the rest of all the paints 
out of here. I love this vibrant green. Sometimes the paint skins turn out amazing, more so than the uh, paintings. <laughs> There's probably a few artists freaking out, but you know. <laughs> Technically on the canvas, it's just paint drying on top of a canvas, so it's just like a paint skin on a canvas. But I'm going to put a bit of tape down to make it really tight, or tighter than I have it. <laughs> I could stretch it out after too. <laughs> so what I do sometimes is I just kind of bring all the paint together. In a super fun manner like that. And sometimes I just let it naturally stretch out on its own like this and it'll just start to grow. And you get some really pretty organic colors that come in. Like look at this right in here, it's pretty. And this striation here makes some nice pretty jewelry. So sometimes I'll just let it grow. I'll just kind of do that. You can do swipes over it too. There's lots of different options. Just going to make that side a bit tighter. You can use the torch because the paint is fairly thick, but just be careful because it is plastic under there. Some really pretty stuff happening in here. And it's just gonna, it takes a long, it takes a few days to dry, obviously, because it's on plastic. But once they're dry, they turn into these really pretty paint skins that you can use for lots of different things. So, do I have any? I'll show you some examples. <laughs> I'm going to show you, so here's a piece of jewelry. Let me just zoom in. That I made with a paint skin. So you can kind of see, and then I just put resin on it you get the beautiful colorings and stuff. So that's what you can do with the paint skins. Or make larger pieces of jewelry. So here This was a big moon circle I did. And I actually have glow in the dark pigment in this resin, so it's really pretty. This was a test piece for one I'm doing with my cousin Laura. But you can see I just put resin on, and this was a paint skin. So. Just a few different options for you guys for paint skins. I'm going to let this dry. It's going to take a few days. <laughs> Just like those take less time because there's less paint. You usually dip it off, but this is pretty thick paint. So I'm going to let that one work its way. And I just want to say a big thank you guys for subscribing, watching, and liking. And... Um, check out the, the links in the description if you need supplies or anything, and I can't wait to share more videos with you guys. Thank you so, so much. Bye.